Well, I'm going through this uh, group of trees up here and I uh, got a signal. Show you what I got. Found a dime. Whoops. I'll have to clean it up when I get back and see what the, the date on it is. Yeah. First coin of the day. Awesome. Well, I got another signal. Got a black powder bullet. Well, I found another really interesting find, and it's in pretty decent condition. A Coke can. Now here's the kicker. I cleaned it up a little bit. This has a special premium offer for a neon or a nylon sport jacket for three dollars and ninety nine cents. The offer expires November thirtieth, nineteen seventy one. That's in pretty decent condition for being this old. That's pretty neat. It was right there in that hole. So I was checking my hole. I found three more. These ones are really bad, but check that out. I cleaned it up a little bit. Hires root beer. Somebody dug a hole and buried them. So there's yeah, there's more in here. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Another hires root beer. I'll be danged. Oh boy. There's so many in here. Yep. Got another. Oh, there's the infamous pull tab. <laughs> and our pop can. Wow. Another hires root beer. Wow. That's just crazy. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep digging out the uh, garbage dump. Those are pretty cool, though. Be back in a bit. Well, folks, the hole's finally empty. I'll show you what I found. Oh my goodness, it was definitely somebody's uh, dump back in the 70s. So I found a bunch of food cans right there. Couple bottles of uh, beer. Sprite cans, cans of Sprite. One, two, three, four, five, six cans of root beer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six cans of Coca-Cola. And carnation breakfast pouches. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be darned. So I came up another uh, slot canyon. I found an old, old road. There's a, uh, a prospect up here we're just going to go check out real quick. Yep, not much. Just a prospect. So I decided to come up from the uh, from the town. One more place I just wanted to detect. There's an upper meadow. It's probably about half a mile from where the town is. The town's down that way, so I came up this way. Just wanted to start meadow detecting, and it's been very very quiet. Nothing, nothing, and all of a sudden, got a very nice signal. I'll show you what I got. Got some bullets. Now. These have not been fired, 
it looks like they were they fell out of a uh, a holder of some sort if it was wore around the belt you know with a drop Wyoming drop for for your long gun for your handgun but these are 44 magnums what I can what I can see on the uh, the head of the shell but I found them both one you obviously you know they corroded they've never been shot but then this one is still whoops this one is still in and there's the uh, the other half obviously the powder and everything else is gone but that's a pretty neat find and it's just this little hole in this meadow so Well, hey everybody, I just want to show you what I, I just found. Get it a little. It's a big three Cincinnati button. It's just it's right in there. That's a pretty neat find, y'all. Oh, I just dug that signal. That's really cool. It was just right, right there. In that, that's pretty cool. Got another. Well, here's the finds for today. Found those uh, at Cache of Coke cans, Sprite cans, and and Hires Root beer. Found an old oil can. It even says. Uh, Utah on it right there a little bit. I'm assuming maybe Chevron. You can barely make it out. Got no copper uh, water fix uh, plumbing fixture. That came out of a house where the assay office was. I got a bunch of pieces of cupels. Got uh, this one. It's in pretty decent shape. There's two different kinds, so that was pretty neat. Little piece of porcelain, it's just something USA on it. Piece of copper wire, solid. This I think was a, uh, a rod for either lightning or a grounding rod because the uh, copper wire was found close to where this was. The 44 Magnum bullets, some black powder bullets. The first find of the day was this little grommet from probably a canvas tent or a tarp. Not sure what this is yet, but it's a piece of metal that's been melted. I found a tack for a shoe. I found a dime, it's a Roosevelt. Got the big Cincinnati uh, button, the president, some more, a buckle. So not too bad. Well, hey everybody, thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me. It's been a very good and relaxing day uh, to metal detect the uh, the town site, finding where the assay office was, finding those old cupels, uh, exploring some of the uh, the mining operation areas, and then the outer areas of, of the town. So it's been a it's been a very good very good day. Uh, also exploring some of the adits, the prospects that are out here. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming along on this adventure, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now next week's video is going to be out on the uh, gold claim. I'm going to be out there with the dry washer for three days, and then I'll video it and I'll show you what uh, what we're out there doing. And then once everything's done, I'm going to pan it all out, and we're going to see how much uh, how much gold we get. So if you guys like this video, please like it. Please comment if you have any questions. And then uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much for, for being a subscriber to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. And also share my channel. 
I would love to have a lot of subscribers to this channel. I really enjoy what I do. And if you have any questions or want to see things uh, on my channel, please leave that in the comments. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. So until the next adventure, you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for, for joining me now. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.